This is a segment for you, my friends. Yesterday was the very first day of fall, as we know, and along with the leaves comes amazing seasonal foods, which means there's no better time to taste and travel. Please welcome global culinary trendologist Christine Cavalier. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, this is how I truly do base my trips, as well I like the food that's offered, or where do I have the best food when traveling, because you want to have the ultimate, ex ultimate experience, and the cuisine is such an integral part of that. It is, and Travelocity.ca recently did a survey that found 75% of Canadians felt food was really important when picking a travel destination. Mm -hmm. So I'm a global culinary trendologist, and, and I love to cook and eat and travel, and so does Travelocity. So we worked together to come up with the first annual culinary travel trend report. So take us around the world with, of course, this guy, there's no place like Gnome. What does he like to eat? Let's see. He's okay, going to start in off. San Francisco. Yeah. And in San Francisco, the hot trend right now is sriracha. Yeah. So you want to be able to go to Ferry Building Marketplace and order a sriracha dish from the slanted door. And you could get this sauce anywhere now. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let's move over to New York City. Yes. And culinary dreams are made in New York City. And a big trend in New York right now is gourmet burgers. So think about a brisket burger on a brioche bun mm. with bourbon bacon jam. And if you travel midweek, you can save money on hotel rooms going to New York City midweek. Very good tip because it's so expensive. It can be. Yeah. So let's go You have the best Europe. job in the world, by the way. You I travel do. and eat your way through. I do. Come Please, on. Please, I want to be a food okay, trendologist. There we go. Okay. We'll go to San Sebastian, Spain. And in San Sebastian, you're going to be able to go to the tapas bars. And my tip is to eat what the locals are ordering. Look at this. And a big trend is foraging right now. So these are lobster mushrooms that have been foraged I've never seen such a mushroom. They're it looks very like a woodsy and very smoky. Yeah, this is cool. Oh well, Toronto's on the list, and Toronto has a buzz right now for handheld pies. Nice. They can be sweet and they can be savory. savory. They're great. So what's inside these ones? Um, there's some of them are peanut butter and chocolate. Some are chicken curry. Yum. Great. Let's go over and let's go to Lyon, France. Let's. The capital of gastronomy. So, you know, great food, great wine, great culture. And Travelocity.ca has a wonderful rate right now for a four star hotel for $142 oh, a that's night. That's amazing. It's great. Of course, croissants are always big, crepes are always big. Totally. Now, salted see. caramels. I have loved these for the last two years, but they are so hot on trend right now. The best I've ever had are in Seattle. Seattle, home of Fran's chocolate, so you'll want to go and taste those. And it's got the sea salt, is oh, it the Himalayan uh, salt? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to New Orleans. You know you're in New Orleans. Nolans. When the, Nolans, when the powdered sugar is all over your hands and you're eating <laughs> beignets, but a big culinary trend right now is craft cocktails. Okay. Okay. So great mixologists mixing up wonderful cocktails. A lot of people love New Orleans and Mardi Gras. I don't know if you've been for Mardi Gras, I but never have. if you go in the fall, it's not as crowded. More craft cocktails for you. And gumbo. And gumbo. All okay, the so best. this is it looks like a light little infusion of some sort of lemon drink with some berries for That's contrast. right, a lot of fresh flavors in the cocktails. And this looks like a raspberry, is it raspberry mint and mojito? Some mint, yes, a mojito. Mm. Isn't that fabulous? Mm -hmm. Now let's take another Canadian stop in Vancouver. And Vancouver is the home of sustainable. Yeah. Seafood, so it's really important, and you can be a culinary insider and travel there during spot prawn season. I love Ned; he's been on the show. He's very, very special chef for Canada. Ned so Bell. it's very eco-friendly and, uh, and sustainable. Eco conscious when it comes to purchasing yes. any sort of fish, he that's makes right. sure that's given the green. We're going to talk about some flavored salts in Stockholm. You know, Stockholm is a buzz in the food world. People want to know what Stockholm is tasting and cooking right now. And in Stockholm, you'll find a lot of flavored salts. You'll also oh, want yeah. to go to the chocolate factory <gasps> and watch them make handmade candy canes. Handmade candy, Handmade canes. candy canes. Side me up. This looks very familiar. It's something I love to cook. It's quick protein. It's easy. It is. This is representative of Tuscany. So explore all the region has to offer. You can go to Florence and eat at Trattoria Sostanza. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go out into the countryside, Travelocity.ca has great villas turned into inns for $100 a night. But, you know, all of these places are fabulous. If you want to know what kind of foodie you are, go on to Travelocity.ca, take the foodie quiz, and you can enter a contest to win a trip for two to any one of these ten travel destinations. So is it safe to say you're a lover of the food pick? Do you enjoy sharing food picks? I love it. It's nothing Thank better. Thank you. Kevin Frankish, are you listening? Us foodies. He's a foodie, yet he has a problem with food picks. I don't no. get it. Share the share, joy. Share, share, share. Share the joy. Thank you so much Keep for being up. here. Kev, over to you in the newsroom.